Howdy folks, it's Brian from South Georgia Hydroponics. I've got Terry with Guardian Bee Apparel. We're going in the hives today. Y'all hang out. So Terry, in your opinion, what do you think is going on here? We, uh, we're after the solstice. We're probably uh, a good month into a, what has mostly been a dearth. So uh, the hives are contracting because the days are getting shorter. The resources aren't available, so they're shutting the queen down um, or she's shutting down. So you're getting a lot less brood. Populations are shrinking resources are being eaten because they're flying every day and they're not bringing much in um, hopefully we can have some strong hives with some good resources that'll make it on their own until the fall fall flow hits um, other than that we're going to have to check on some that we might have to feed a little bit and get them through all right so we've been through a few hives and uh it's just not looking it's just that time of the year it's it's uh, june 30th um and uh we have a dearth Lots of bee bread. Pretty neat looking at all the different colors and all the different sources. Lots of larva. This is a second generation Cordovan hive. Ordered a Cordovan queen from Pendel Apiaries in California. And originally these bees were solid blonde. Even their legs and their thoraxes were blonde. Um, they have requeened and now there they're, are some that look like your standard Italians and then some that are kind of a reddish blonde. You got a little bit of a mixture in there now, but they brewed up really well. They seem to always lay a strong pattern. Very gentle. I think that's the two main traits. Is you're gonna get very gentle bees that always have a strong brood pattern. Sometimes sometimes to their own definite. So these are some new hives that we just got about uh, uh, two months ago, Terry? Two months, uh, first of May, and it is the end of June. And um, side by is... side with our other established hives uh, that have been here, uh, some of them for several years, that already had comb. You know, so one of them was a triple deep. Uh, all they had to do was fill it. They didn't have to build wax. And sitting right next door, we are in the second deep <clears throat> of a hive that's only been here for two months that is building new wax and, and storing nectar. Uh, they're capping honey, got tons of nectar. And one frame over, I said, mine still in the top deep. Um, everywhere she could put them. It got cat brood. Um, got some larva, not quite capped up in there. Um, so what's yeah. the difference in these bees and our other bees? The, the, only, the only thing I know for sure is that uh, <clears throat> these bees over here are local stock <clears throat> from, uh, from, from local beekeepers uh, that, are, that are more on the hobby level. Um, these bees here um, which we're seeing a, a major difference in, were purchased from a semi-local commercial beekeeper uh, that, that, that actively uh, breeds towards productive and, uh, and efficient uh, traits. And, and I, I can't tell you for sure, but it looks to me like that's what we're seeing. We're seeing bees that are being productive even when resources are tight 
versus bees that are shrinking and you can't hardly find an egg uh, at the same time. Well, let's see if we can prove that. Let's go through a couple more hives. Check it out. All right, so um, <coughs> I think we've concluded going through um, these hives over here. Terry w was telling me earlier that the gentleman we got these nukes from uh, gets his queen cells from somebody named Mixa, or the business is named Mixa. Um, and I'm telling you folks, there's there's the proof right there. That's the, that's the second deep. And we've got honey, and we've got brood. There's eggs all the way through all of these hives that we have up here. Uh, I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed. Um, I don't think I'll be getting any nukes from anybody else ever again. This is eggs and, and, and larva and honey. And all of the all the other hives that we've been through are, are really lacking honey and, and and even pollen. These hives are doing great, every one of them. So if y'all don't know, uh, Terry is the creator of the Guardian Bee Apparel. Um, oh, what do you call it, Terry? The easy, uh, access, easy access veil, which he's wearing. Uh, your Kickstarter just finished up two days ago, Terry? Three yes, days ago? Yes, sir. Almost 300% funded. Thank you for everybody that supported. 300% funded. That's awesome. Absolutely amazing. And, uh, yeah, I can tell you real quick. In the summer heat why it's so nice to have it just a matter of seconds get something to drink wipe your eyes and then get right back to work all right folks so that was it for uh for the visit to the honeybees and uh man it was a good time it was hot out there very very hot uh, so let's talk about the state of the bees the state of the bees uh, there's a dearth there's a lack of resources there's a lack of uh, nectar um, some of the hives are doing great um, and we, we you know maybe we're seeing uh, the tail end of a, of a small dearth and maybe we're starting to get some 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 summer blossoms coming on um, I was very very impressed with the the new hives that we have and how how well they are all doing this compared to the old hives um, it, it just blows me away is it a genetic thing the only thing I can think is it, it has to be a genetic thing I do want to give a very special thanks to Terry Chapman with Guardian Bee Apparel. Um, Terry's a good friend of mine, and, uh, and we, we always have a good time together, especially when we're going through the bees. Um, I, I encourage you, please, if you're a beekeeper, please go to guardianbeeapparel.com and take a look at the uh, the products that, that he has just launched. Uh, keep in mind, he's going to be doesn't have an e-commerce site yet um, there is something linked to his Kickstarter page uh, you can read more about it at the website and at the Kickstarter page and, uh, and go out and, and purchase uh, some of this uh, this protective equipment it's really really going to change the beekeeping industry in my opinion having access to your face while it's hot and, and, and you know, let's, let's say a bee gets inside of your veil, just, just having access to that visor, that, that zipper in, in, in your line of sight and, and, and being able to, uh, to wipe your face off, take your glasses off, uh, take a drink of water, taste the honey, man, it's, it's, it's going to change 
beekeeping for a lot of folks, not just for hobby beekeepers, but for the uh, the commercial guys as well. Um, so, nonetheless, go to guardianbeeapparel.com and check it out. I think you're going to enjoy it. Terry, thanks for hanging out with me today and going through the hives. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for watching. Y'all get out and grow something. Get out and grow some bees. God bless.